now to discuss the world's rapidly developing AI technology and its impact on the field of nuclear medicine. Dr. Irene Bouvat joins me from the Institut Curie in Paris. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. And thanks for having me here. It's a great pleasure. And congratulations on being chosen for the Hal Anger Lectureship. You'll be discussing the power of artificial intelligence in nuclear medicine. Tell me, how is AI being used in nuclear medicine today? So first, it is a huge honor for me to give that lecture, and uh, I would like to thank the SNMMI uh, committee for giving me that opportunity. And um, to answer your question, so at the moment, AI is mostly used to automate process and to speed up procedures that could take a long time otherwise. So for instance, in imaging, you already have some uh, artificial intelligence algorithm that will automatically set up the position of the bed in the scanner with respect to the patient before starting the acquisition. So that's already available, but it's hidden. Nobody is aware of that. And then what do you think some potential future applications of AI in nuclear medicine will be? So in the future, AI will do much more than just automation. First, uh, in it will enhance the quality of the data. So for instance, in nuclear medicine, it will improve the quality and the accuracy of the molecular images delivered by the scanners. And in addition, it will also help us identify new characteristics associated with various diseases. So for instance, using AI, we, we can analyze a large quantity of data so we can gain insights into specific features of different diseases. So we gain new knowledge and thanks to this new knowledge, we will be able to better stratify the patients and better predict which treatment will work best for each and every patient. Will nuclear medicine professionals need additional training and education in order to take advantage of these new opportunities? Yes, professionals will, will need to, to receive some educations about AI so that they use these tools at best. But of course, they won't have to become a data scientist or, or experts in computational medicine. That's not the point. But still, it is um, important that they understand some of the basics of AI so that they can use these tools with confidence when this is appropriate.